Bilal Pesh uh, Maysuria is a senior lecturer in education studies from the University of East London and we're going to get more debate on this uh, report now. Welcome. Hi. Asian countries topping the world's best at science and maths. Why is that? Well, I think there's a number of factors involved. I mean, the first thing to say here is that the actual lead tables themselves, you've got to ask how they are compiled, what, the, what do they actually do, how legitimate is it, um, what they are saying. Um, and I do think that these lead tables, well, it's a quite interesting for people like me, you know, academics to kind of uh, do things like this. Um, I think there's a lot of kind of contention in and around, for instance, the methodology that's used. So any of these kind of global indices which look at individual countries and then try to compare them across are really quite problematic in the way that they compile their data. So every country in itself is very, very diverse. You know, there's lots of diversity in terms of its class structure, in terms of the way that it, its cultural kind of norms operate within and through schooling, um, its political climate, the, the environmental um, uh, uh, situation. So all of these kinds of issues all contribute to uh, the, the schooling system of every nation. Now, if you take that complexity and then try to aggregate and then compare it across, that makes it extremely difficult. And you've got to ask questions about the reliability and the usefulness of, of this kind of data. Well, well, let's just say the methodology um, used by the OECD in this report is very much linking education to the economy. And that's how yep. they are viewing this in terms of GDP growth and how economic success for a country, educational success, can lead to the, to the economic success of the country as sure. a whole. So because of that, they're putting Asia up there and the African countries below. But uh, is there a sense that with the educational success, they can absolutely improve their country's ability to do well, economically speaking. Well, look, there is, there is without a doubt, a, a, a connection between what goes on in schools and education and then what happens to the GDP of the country. But whilst that in itself is important, we mustn't disregard what schooling is for and what it should be for. Um, Whilst GDP is very important, you know, kind of going through the schooling system uh, in order to acquire the skills, the basic skills, as the, as the report is called, the basic skills, and then, contrib uh, and that, uh, and then these children having these basic skills, getting the jobs, um, instrumentally then going into the, into the professions, and that then contributing to the productivity of the, of the nation. Well, that in itself is very, very important. There's a whole range of other things that schooling should be doing and is doing, but isn't being recognised in reports like this. So for instance, the, the whole kind of creativity aspect, uh, the empowerment of children to be, uh, to be kind of dynamic individuals, to be able to contribute to uh, being a good citizen, to the political system, uh, just being a good neighbour, being nice to each other. These are the kind of things that schooling should develop. And it's not only about um, measurable outcomes through high stakes examinations. I think that's really, really problematic. And we, we mustn't forget that this report has a very, very narrow remit and definition of basic skills. Although, uh, in their defence, the education director of this report, Andrea Schleiser, said that if you go into any Asian classroom, you'll find teachers expect every student to succeed. This is about mindset and expectations. So taking the figures away from it and the achievements in terms of science and maths, there's a psychological reason perhaps why the students in Asian schools are doing better than perhaps they are in Britain or America. Well, I'm not sure. I, dis I, I agree with that at all. I think if you go into any classroom here, uh, in this country in England or in the United States of America or, or Sweden which has you know um, gone down in the league tables you will find that teachers are wholeheartedly involved in trying to do the best for their children but the external conditions the pressures that are imposed on them um, for example the political pressures to 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 pass exams you know rote learn and so forth that that that, that is simply not accountable in in uh, reports like this grateful for your time Alpesh thank, thank you, you very much for